Hello loves and welcome to a new vlog. I'm actually filming this intro on the last day of the vlog because I somehow managed to lose the footage from my intro. I've accidentally deleted it but I thought I'd say hi now to just intro the vlog so it doesn't just start at a random point. I also want to say a massive thank you to Latelier who are actually sponsoring today's video. I'm so happy to be working with them because oh my god the bits that I've got from them are just absolutely stunning and I've just been wearing them to absolute death. I just love them. I think they're so cute. I will have all of their links in the description as well as a discount code which you guys can see on screen right now and that will also be in the description box as well. Honestly these pieces are beautiful and such good quality, I've had nothing but good nice things said about them. Everyone that has seen me wearing something from them has been like, oh my god where is that from? I love it. First off is this dress that I haven't had a chance to wear yet but I am so excited to wear. It is beautiful. I'm going on holiday in March over my birthday and I'm definitely taking this with me because it's just such a beautiful summer dress. So as you can see, it's like this beautiful kind of satiny white dress. It's got a little collar at the front, but it is also backless. And these two just like tie around the waist. Oh my God, it's stunning. You've got to see better on the try on clip, but this is so beautiful. I'm just thinking with some little brown sandals, a cute little bag, it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. Just a really simple dress, so easy to put on. The quality is insane. I love the cut of this. I love the sleeves. You guys know how I feel about the little sleeves. It's got such a vintage vibe to it, but it's still modern. It's still in today's like trends. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest trend follower. I just have like my style. It's quite classic, but I love this dress. I think it's so lovely. I feel like this is one of those pieces that you can wear and wear and wear. Next up, we have some leather trousers that you guys went crazy over on Instagram. I've never had so many messages about something ever you guys seem to just love these and i can totally see why i was looking for some trousers like this for such a long time and i just couldn't find the right fit and the right size and these are just perfect and they're not really restricting you know how you can get some leather jeans or trousers that are really like kind of crunchy to move in these are really nice and soft um they don't have stretch to them necessarily but they're just breathable and movable so they are these gorgeous wide leg leather trousers i love all of the little details on them i think these could easily be workwear but i think they could also be dressed down with a pair of trainers if that's your vibe or dressed up with a pair of heels or boots which is like what i did on the try on clip i've had these bits for months because i never made a purchase from the brand before so i really wanted to try the things out before i told you about it and oh my god i'm just so impressed i wear all of this stuff all the time especially this coat i posted a reel of me wearing this coat and everyone was like oh my god i need details it's stunning i know so so many of you guys have already bought this coat um, because I've been sending you guys links on Instagram before this video went live because everybody was like I need that now I can't wait a good coat is such a must-have in your wardrobe so I decided to get this beautiful black wraparound coat I've been wanting a coat like this for such a long time this definitely gives me Max Mara vibes these flowers are very close this definitely gives me Max Mara vibes which is a brand that I absolutely love and adore i love all of their stuff it's got a nice big chunky belt on it as well which i just think looks really beautiful really classy i love the sleeves the way they're kind of like flute sleeves this coat is just stunning it's got nice big deep pockets as well i just love the way this coat looks it's gorgeous again such good quality i also got this hat which i really love whenever i wear a hat i always get loads of compliments on it i feel like maybe they suit me what do you think but i love this hat i love the color of it i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of it in the summer and also the autumn i feel like this can be really cute I feel like i haven't got it on there we go how cute is that i love that i love the style of it i feel like hats like this are really in right now they're really cute and i feel like they never really go out of style and lastly i got this belt which it's probably one of my favorite things. It is very similar, so I think it is the Alexander McQueen belt. Maybe I'm wrong. There is a designer that has a belt that is almost identical to this, but obviously this one is a fraction of the price. It's one of those belts that you don't need belt loops for. You just kind of tie it around and pull it through. I think it is so stunning. I wear it with a lot of my cardigans to cinch them in at the waist. So that is everything I got from Natelier. Everything will be linked in the description. Thank you so much for working with me on this part of the video. I love everything I've got, and I'm definitely gonna be making a lot of purchases from them in the future. Good morning loves. Oh my god, it is so cold this morning. Is that cold? You can actually see my breath. Can you see that? 
today at the gym I'm going to be doing weights. Um, I try to do weights like once a week and then I'm going to finish it off with a quick like 10-15 minutes of cardio and also a quick 10 minute ab workout. So about half an hour of weights, 15 minutes of cardio and 10 minutes of an ab workout. <laughs> pretty brutal but I feel better for doing it so that is a plus um let's put some fun music on and drive home I've got loads to do today and like I said I've got to go to London later so got to get a load of stuff sorted out and also the dogs are going out for their walk so I need to make sure that I'm back for the dog walker hello hi hi Let's go get in the shower because Molly is running upstairs because she wants cuddles in bed. I can guarantee you any money that is what she wants. She will literally lay. Hi. Hi, hi, Molly. I love you too. She literally goes to the stair gate. <laughs> she goes to the stair gate and she will bark at the stair gate and then she will run up the stairs and jump on this bed because she wants mummy cuddles that is her little thing you stink you smell so gross hello she's so silly who's that what Outfit, and I've just been told that I'm going to be working with the Ivy, which is really exciting. Um, I'm going out Thursday, so I'll definitely try and vlog it. Um, that's really exciting. I've wanted to work with them for a really long time, so that's really cool. I think I'm just gonna wear something really comfy and casual. How cute is this little bra that I got? It's from Boo Avenue. It's got these little pink frills at the bottom. It's so pretty. I love this. I'm so glad I got it. I'm gonna get dressed now and then head downstairs because like I said, I've got so many emails and admin things and I'm just getting like a million emails through today and I don't even know what has caused all of these emails to come flooding through. So, a little bit stressed. I'm on coffee number 573. This cup is so cute. I got it from H&M. Um, I love it. They had it in like pinks and blues and oranges and stuff like that. I just thought it was the cutest thing. Um, I love it so much. What I am working on right now is I'm trying to make all of the affiliate links to go in the description. I got a package from Amazon, which I am so excited about this because I hate wires on the floor. I'm sure so many of you can agree with that. Wires on the floor just irritate me i know that might be weird but i just can't stand it i think it looks so messy and untidy oh, i just hate it and let me show you the current situation i've got going on this is my current bedside table which is nice and pretty and then this is the bit down here which is again nice and pretty and then you look down here and it's just wires and it's just a state this just looks like a really nice neat and tidy way to charge all my things without all the cables so let's see how it goes i I'm absolutely obsessed. This is incredible. I'm so glad I bought it. It was so cheap. It was only like 20 pound. Oh my God, look at that. Doesn't that look so nice and neat? Oh, I'm so happy that I got this. So this little bit here actually spins around. So if you've got like a, I think that's an Android and then that's another iPhone and these things bend so that whatever it is that you're charging will lean backwards against this thing and not cause any damage to the charging hole. So I've just left it on the iPad setting because I always forget to charge my iPad up. Oh my God. I'm so happy. That looks so neat. I'm so happy I got this. Hey, so I finished up with my meeting and I also headed over to Sapphire Clapham, which was so nice and the girls there were so lovely i'm gonna be getting my eyebrows microbladed on friday so i think i'm gonna take you along for that i also got my nails done which i will show you when i get back they're the cutest nails i think i've ever had 
good morning as you can tell it is the next day oh my goodness yesterday i was absolutely exhausted i think i got in at about half past 10 i had a bowl of like crunchy nut corn flakes and then went straight to sleep because i was so tired i was literally exhausted i stopped at services on the way home and they were closed and i was like oh my god i need food right now i woke up this morning with the most excruciating period pains ever i've mentioned before i've mentioned a million times that i really suffer with my periods and get really bad periods really painful periods i have pmdd which is like google it there's a lot that comes with it and one of the things is quite painful periods i say quite they literally make me faint um so yeah <laughs> I woke up this morning in such bad pain. I had like a hit workout class booked and I was like, you actually need to have a reality check right now and not force yourself to go to the gym. So I've had a nice long hot shower. I washed my hair because it was looking a little bit greasy. I haven't washed it for like a week. So it definitely needed a wash. These are the nails that I got done yesterday. They are so cute. They're perfect for Valentine's day. You guys know I don't like really fancy nails and they are just the perfect little french with red and a little heart because yesterday was so busy i'm gonna try and take it a little bit slower today obviously i've just washed my hair i've got back to a load of emails i've got some things that i need to return to zara so i'm going to try and get that done i'm also going to do a few bits around the house and get some editing done as well i think does anyone else love when their towel gives them like a fox bra lift like a supermodel except i'm ugly i definitely need to fake tan because i am shooting tomorrow and i'm so pale um and i'm gonna wear a dress so this is my before i am so pale right now and please excuse my little bloated period tummy i'm in a lot of pain right now but this is my before i bought this the other day and i've heard really good things about it it is the bondi sans aero tan in ultra dark so i'm gonna see how this goes my god that is dark <laughs> I love fake tanning because it makes your abs look more like visible. <laughs> Not that I have abs right now thanks to my stupid period. Here is my after, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like I've come out a nice color. So let's see how this develops. Wherever you begin today, take a moment to relax your shoulders. afternoon lovelies i haven't picked up the camera for a couple of days just because i've been feeling a little bit like sad and hormonal but it is the afternoon on a friday right now we went out for dinner at the ivy last night which was really really nice i was working with them on a valentine's day campaign that went live over on my instagram if you want to go and see some of the pictures that we shot but today i'm really excited because i'm heading down to sapphire clapham to get my eyebrows microbladed like i told you at the start of the week i've been looking to get this done for such a long time but i just haven't found anyone that i really trusted i looked on instagram for months i've literally been looking for probably a year maybe two about getting my eyebrows microbladed but i can never find someone's work that was consistently natural i really don't want like a blocky brow or for it to look really like bulky like i want it to look natural and real instead of just like a you know like a tattoo just like a blocked in tattoo and i feel like some people's work is a little bit inconsistent but sapphire's work always looks incredible so i don't have any products on my eyebrows right now I tinted them because you can't put any product on them or get them wet for like 10 days so I thought I best tint them now <laughs> to make sure that they're still dark because I'm naturally blonde if you didn't know so my eyebrows are blonde as well. Sorry about how like backlit I am but this is my outfit it's just this really cute chunky knit from H&M one of my favourite jumpers ever it's just so chunky and cute then I've got my leather jeans on from Vila these are some of my favourite leather jeans and then just some boots from River Island I love these boots and then my Gucci bag and that is it just comfy and cosy because obviously I'm going to be driving so let's go so i'm just sat waiting for my uber on a random road in london because i thought i could figure out how to get there walking but my maps is just like not working at all so i've just booked an uber from outside a random person's house in london <laughs> um hopefully i'm not too late because i should be there like right now um but yeah i'm really excited hello oh my god i'm so happy i can't believe how good they look oh you can't see anything like that obviously it is so dark right now so you can't see anything i'm gonna have to show you my eyebrows tomorrow but oh my god i am so unbelievably happy i can't believe how good they look i can't believe i've got no products in my eyebrows right now and they look this good with no products 
Um, I'm petrified right now. I'm driving through Knightsbridge, um, and all the buildings are like massive. <laughs> I just needed someone to talk to because this is really scary. <laughs> and I can't even. And I forgot my glasses. I've literally forgotten my glasses. I am like right in the center of London right now. I went into this little shop called Coca Melon and the man just gave me my stuff for free and it was really weird. I don't know if he thought I was someone, but he was just like, this is for free, for free for you. And I was just like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah, for free. And I was like, thank you. Is this zoomed in? That's better. Hey loves, so I've had two Amazon deliveries that I thought I would unbox with you. They're kind of like boring, but not boring at the same time. If you like organization, you're gonna love what's in here. So I have been organizing the wardrobe because, oh my God, this wardrobe gets so cluttered. It's unbelievable. Um, this is the wardrobe. It's pretty spacious, um, but we've got some drawers in here as well. And my top drawer is just impossible to organize because I've got gym stuff in there. I've got bras in there shorts leggings dressing gowns pajamas sports bras i've got all sorts of stuff in this top drawer and it just kind of jumbles together you see what i mean it just kind of you can't really tell anything apart i decided to order some drawer organizers from amazon they were really cheap just from amazon and apparently they're made for this drawer because it's just like a cheap drawer set from ikea because i thought i don't want to get anything fancy because it's literally just in a wardrobe i don't need to get anything fancy and to be fair they're actually really nice i would definitely have these out of a wardrobe as well they're just really sleek and chic and really good quality actually i've just put them all up which literally took me two seconds um and they look like this there's a few of them so let's put them in the drawers and see how it works okay this is incredible i am so glad i got this i've put my tennis skirt and my little shorts back there because i never wear them pajama shorts pajama tops bras leggings sports bras and tops hoodie and then all of my nighties and robes oh my god i am so glad i got this i've got extra room in there now it's literally made space i don't know how that works i am baffled at how this has just worked so well but i have extra space now so i can put all of my underwear in there as well now that I've organized my drawer, I'm gonna to move to up here. So, as you can see, we're kind of tight on space. We're moving soon, like this year, and we're moving to a much bigger house, which I cannot wait for because, oh my God, it's so cramped in here. Um, if you didn't know, I used to live in Wolverhampton. I lived in a bigger house than I do now, but I moved in with my partner, and this house is smaller. So, struggling for space, and obviously I work from home. So, we just try and find ways to make space. And one of the ways I've been doing that is buying these little shoe organizers, which are so cheap. Again, on Amazon, I'll link everything below that you can just put in a wardrobe and it just gives you that extra room instead of piling things on top of one another. So I'm going to make those up now and show you the difference. So I have just done up here, which is looking way more organized up there. And now I'm going to put one in this little gap that we've got down here. Trust me, I know how ugly these things are. Like that is not something I would want out in my house. But if you've got a wardrobe space, I think this is perfect because you know, it's in a wardrobe. Nobody is gonna be looking in your wardrobe and they are honestly a lifesaver. They are so good. The organization right now is so satisfying. It's all organized, all the clothes. It goes from dresses to jumpers, to jump tops, to um, pretty tops, to camis, to shirts. Oh, love that. I've got my shoes organized down here. This is one of the best things I've ever bought. Oh my God. So organized. So freaking organized. I love it. I'm so glad I got these things. Hello, my loves. I thought I would just wrap up the vlog here. I've made myself some brunch. Um, lemon and sugar pancakes are incredible. They are just, oh my God. Mm, the best thing ever. It just tastes like being on holiday. I've literally just had this package come, so I thought before I wrap up the vlog, I will show you what's in here. Let's see. Oh my goodness! Okay, so this is from Joe Loves. Um, I'm going to nerd out on you right now really quickly. I'm just going to be a little bit nerdy, but... 
Jo Malone, we all know her, we all love her. Jo Malone candles, Jo Malone perfumes. So, I read Jo Malone's book, which I would 100% recommend if you like reading and you like non-fiction books. I will link it in the description. Oh my God, I read it in a day. I couldn't put it down. It's the best book I've ever read. It was incredible. So inspirational and so interesting and funny. There were highs, there were everything, everything, loved it. I'm going off on a tangent, but amazing book. I'll link it in the description. So Jo Malone actually got cancer and sold her company to Estee Lauder. Um, so Jo Malone doesn't actually own Jo Malone anymore. And when she sold her company, um, she started up a new one which is called Jo Loves. So ever since I've tried to exclusively purchase from Jo Loves just because I love Jo Malone. Um, and she has a shop in Belgravia that I've been to a million times. If you do go, there's a pub called the Thomas Cubet, which is right next door to it. I go there all the time. So this is the Jo Loves Pomelo candle. I can't believe I've been sent things by Jo Loves. I actually feel like crying. This is insane. Oh my god, it's so yummy. I smelt this a million times in store. I love pomelo. It's like fresh, but a little bit musky as well. The packaging is really minimal, so it looks really beautiful on a shelf, something like that. I can't believe I've had things from Joe Loves. That is insane. Oh my god. I had a brand contact me yesterday that is like a dream brand for me to work with, and I literally cried. They've also sent me Joe by Joe Loves. I don't think I've smelt this before. Oh, I love that. It's so summery and fresh. It smells like fruit and a beach. Like you're sat by the sea. Like salt, you're sat by a salty sea with a fruit bowl in front of you. Sorry about the lighting getting a little bit darker. It's so grisly today. It's all like, oh, it's just horrible. Like it just makes you want to go on holiday when it's like this because it's just so dreary. Thank you. I can't actually believe it. I actually feel like crying. I love this brand so much. Oh, and it smells so yummy. It literally, oh, it's just like divine. <laughs> which says it's for skin regeneration looks lovely lou is going to love the branding of this it's all very um you know neutral pinteresty vibes this is right up lou's alley ginger extract scalp treatment trying to grow my hair this is a dry oil for hair with hibiscus and acai this is a cleansing gel i love the, the packaging it's all very neutral and then this one is a hair mask so this has biometric ceramides biomeme bi biometric bio ceramides and avocado oil isn't that all just lovely i love the look of all that so it looks so nice in the bathroom and then lastly from vici this is a brand that i absolutely love i've got so many products from them use them all the time and this is stimulating shampoo and fortifying conditioner and this is specifically for hair loss so if you've been struggling with if you've been struggling with that maybe this is for you i'll report back in a few months and let you know how i've been getting on with it so that is everything i got from the lovely brands i'm so excited to try everything out especially the the shampoo and conditioner because i have lost a lot of hair i'm trying to really grow it back sorry about the rain um but thank you so much for watching this week's video i really hope you enjoyed it i haven't vlogged for such a long time so i hope the vlog is okay if you have any constructive criticism i would honestly really appreciate it whether it's about music how it's edited the style of vlog that you like let me know some vloggers in the comments that you consistently watch and you like their style of vlogging because sometimes i feel a little bit lost with vlogging i don't know what to show what not to show and what you find boring and what you find interesting um i'm really shy and i also so really struggle to vlog when I'm out because I just forget um, so I feel like a lot of the clips are just me at home so let me know if you'd rather see more of something or less of something and I'd be happy to do that next time thank you so much for watching today's video I really do appreciate it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment and maybe share it with a friend who would enjoy and if you don't have my post notifications turned on please turn those on um, because I feel like a lot of my videos don't go into subscription boxes don't know why but I feel like that is an issue that I do have so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you for all of the support and I'll see you next week with a new video bye